this is my personal tribute to a man who figured out how to prevent nearsightedness, a Dr. Jacob Rafelson, who with long study realized that with intelligence and motivation, it would be possible to prevent by using the plus signs for all close work before the person's vision went below 2040 or 2050. Uh, Dr. Rafelson used the technique that had been put in place by Johann Kepler 400 years ago. Very easy to use a minus lens on a person. It's very hard if you're in optometry and you have a minus lens and you can impress a person with the minus lens to talk to him and explain to him that that is not a good idea and that it only makes matters worse. The even harder problem is that for, to be effective, you must start wearing the plus lens before your Snelling goes below 2060. Um, this may be difficult because everybody wants the easy way and the minus is certainly the easy way. For the plus lens to be used, the person's intelligence and motivation must be deeply involved and he must agree to the purpose and reason why a plus lens can and must be used. This basically takes the problem out of optometry and puts it on the person himself to make the decision to monitor his own vision, Snellen, and restore his vision from 2060, 2050 to better than 2040, which passes the DMV. Since it's so difficult to get people to do this, I also include the process of getting a small test lenses to test your own refractive state. That means you will have control of the proceedings, the judgment, all of it, and you will not be putting responsibility in an optometrist who might be biased against prevention with a plus. You basically have to do it yourself. People have done it. It's not easy, and it's long-term. The eye goes down by about two-thirds of a doctor per year if the plus is not worn. That is really the baseline for making these judgments. <laughs> it's also very difficult to get out of it if you go below 2060, although some people have. In any event, I don't encourage people to attempt prevention if they cannot read the 2060 line. And so the intense motivation is pretty serious because you, the payoff must be better. Like a pilot, and your lifetime goal is 2020, and you must maintain it. Some people will have that motivation, perhaps most will not. In any event, you should have a Snellen chart up, your own trial lens kit, and I hope a supportive optometrist, although they are very rare, in any event, you have to do it yourself. Here is the Snellen chart. It's very hard to do this, though, because you know, got to know that French and Rigridilli requires great insights, as Jacob Bracel has them, and the ability to sustain the effort for the length of time it's going to take to be effective at it. No one can tell you to do this. You can read about it, you can think about it, but the final analysis, it's, it is your own choice to make. Thank you.